Hey, what's up, everyone? Azim, Isep, I am disappointed. Smokey Chan, happy Monday. Kishu, exactly. No breaks on the grind. Black X Knight, gaming with a Slayer. How's everyone doing? How is everyone's Christmas events? Isn't uh, Santa Lily so adorable? We we are all farmers now, exactly. Uh, no, I haven't got uh, Lily yet. I've been slacking on my uh. Stalking farming. Uh, let's see. Hey, you got Ishtar. Congrats. Babylonia. Exactly. It's going to be great. I'm excited for it. You're not ready for it? <laughs> well, there's no rush, right? Crap. Already forgot to use effect. Alright, my bad. Uh, what box am I on? I can't remember. I think I'm like the fifth one. No. Oh, well, I'm on the fifth. I didn't complete it yet. I haven't got my silver ticket. Hey, good boy. What's up? Dark Master. Try your best for um, Ishtar. No luck. It's okay. You and me both. Lock. Long time no... I, not, I can't really say long time no see, but you get the idea. It's been a while. How are you? Uh, give me a sec, Demort. Actually, don't know what your question is in terms of advice. Um, just give me a sec, though. Uh, let's see. You're worried about um. Oh, you're worried about, um, I guess, Mu Musashi, I assume. Shinjuku. Is that when Musashi gets in the radar? Or what's in Shinjuku? <laughs> we don't talk about the E-drops here. Damn. I, I can feel the salt. Sainta, how's it going? Locke, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Oh, that's Shimoza. Then who's the servant for Shinjuku? I'm trying to remember. Damn, whatever. <laughs> Moriarty? Okay. Wait, is that the guy with... The freaking... G gun cannon, whatever you call it. I can't remember. <laughs> it just like shoots missiles and everything. I could be hallucinating. I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Coffin gun. Yeah, is that the guy? The, the old guy? I assume so. <laughs> Shinjuku is Sherlock. Oh, okay. Got it. Lobo, Yang King, and Emiya Alter. Damn, Emiya Alter is that late? You're on box. Well, you're on the box procrastination. You and me both. You and me both. <clears throat> Let's 
see. Oh, this is awful. I can't believe I'm going to use Cleopatra to kill Caesar. No, actually, never mind. I'll use, uh... Shiki to do it. <laughs> His weapons right off of a uh, Terminator. <laughs> I can see that. It's insane how advanced some of these weapons are. <laughs> I think, um, who is it? Sigurd. Sigurd is like an ancient warrior in Norse mythology. At least I believe so. Uh, he has like... I forgot. His weapons are pretty advanced. <laughs> Looks like he'll be saving for Emiya Altar. I haven't looked at his skills yet, or what he does. Seems interesting. Uh, let's see, you can skip Musashi, but there's Gramps. Ah. Gramps. Grandpa Hassan. I know I'm not getting him unless I get my uh, Musashi in the first 10 shot or something. Then absolutely. But, <laughs> ugh. I don't think I'm gonna get her. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Star Lord Sigurd. <laughs> exactly. He punches his sword at you. I can't remember. I thought his spear. He had a spear, I think. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, we're talking about a game where a samurai shoots a beam at people. Way more advanced than modern technology already, right? I'm talking about Okita Altar, <laughs> to be more specific. Sad boy, I ruined uh, your farming record. <laughs> you three apples. And got only one CE. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But hey, at least you got one. You can maximum break it. Saving for Mus- Oh, not Musashi. Okita instead of Musashi. Ah, I see. You're one of those. You're like Musaki from Kaldea Gurus. Tisk tisk. Although Okita is great, so I can't judge you. DX Gear, how's it going? Have I tried praying to the goddess of fertility, Ishtar, to get the CE drops? You did. And you end it with the. Okay, what's this image? Give me a sec. <laughs> Damn. Is that maximum broken? Just from drops? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six. So that's two maximum broken. Damn, maybe I should pray now. <laughs> Congrats. That's kind of insane, though. Damn. <clears throat> Musashi's around the corner. Can't wait. I know, right? I'm surprised not a lot of people are talking about Merlin. Zergato. Always a pleasure having you here. Um, but yeah, a lot of people... There's not much talk of Merlin, really. I'm surprised. Jalter got way more attention. Maybe she's waifu, but... I'd expect uh, a lot of Merlin talk by now, like... Oh my gosh, can't wait for Merlin, or Merlin's awesome, I don't know. Uh, let's see, Brokilles, let's see, who's best bro? <sighs> Iskandar. Iskandar or Ku? 
I don't know if you saw some of the uh, Emmy or Shiro cooking show. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious a bit. But uh, Ku seems like an awesome, awesome bro. Kentucky, fight me. Nah, I won't even fight you. I agree with that. Kentucky's awesome. Bros a lot. <laughs> I don't know about that. Damn, I really need that stupid. Should kill. Nah, screw it. <laughs> I'm not risking it. <laughs> Nobody in NA cares about uh, Merlin. That, that is interesting. <clears throat> After Merlin. I wonder who the next hot servant will be, right? The top, the main topic. Right, first was Jalter, then Merlin, and then, um, well, we'll see. Setsuna, hope I'm ready for the king. <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> Me and my pathetic amount of Saint Courts, that's gonna be wasted on Musashi. Nope. Gramps. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of Musashi and Gramps. To be honest, that's I heard about them a lot more than um Merlin. Which is again surprising, but it is what it is. What, Cleo? You couldn't kill your hubby. <clears throat> uh, it's Frank. Oh, uh, Frankenstein. Good, even if uh, even if you have Zerk a lot. I mean, in compared to Lancelot, uh, Lancelot's better. But I mean, <laughs> it's still good to have her. She's great for farming. That's why I use her for. Musashi for waifu, King Hassan for gameplay. Yeah, I don't get uh King of Sun, he his passive skill, uh one of his passive skills is amazing. Five percent uh instant death from normal attacks. Seems pretty awesome. I forgot, I don't think there's a lot of CEs that increases death rate, is there? There should be, but not by much. I could only imagine maybe like another five percent. <clears throat> What's my new method for rolling Musashi? Uh, nothing. Why break a good tradition, right? I have my catalyst with me, a figure, and I'll dedicate a temple to her, right? Just have like lots of pictures. And we'll see how it goes. It's more likely you can get that insta kill attack than getting an SSR exactly, right? 5%! 5% is pretty legit. <laughs> but I know there's, I think, a 3-star or 4-star CE that increases death rate by 5%. Max limit broken, I believe. Could be wrong, though. But I know there is one CE that exists. Um, so 10%. Oops. 10% isn't bad. The blue cyclone, AK UK. I'm doing okay. 
Do I have Ishtar? No, I don't. I wasted like three ten shots and all my tickets. Freaking should never done that. Got another kaleidoscope though, <laughs> and another uh, twenty thirty. So I mean that's all right. Still, those uh, four ten, uh, three ten shot and those tickets could have spent on Musashi. Wasted four hundred on Ishtar. Didn't get your brother. Got her with one summoning ticket. Well, um. <clears throat> Did you beat up your brother? I assume it's your little brother? If it's older brother, then I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe he'll beat you up, but... If it's younger, hope you beat him up. How many boxes that open? I'm on my fifth one. Is Sharpana wasn't good for a lot of people. <laughs> Tell that to Kita Sean. I saw his Twitter. Oh! Haven't opened my NA account for so long. What I look at what I got on his first 10 shot. Hit the guy. So lucky. <clears throat> Watching Shogun pull for Ishtar was terrible. Uh, did he get her? I actually didn't watch his pulls. I know he switched over to Twitch, so I haven't really watched his live streams anymore. Maybe she'll bless me with her presence if I pray to her. I prayed! I prayed, and guess who spooked me? Freaking Emiya. He cock blocked me. Damn, Emiya. I should just burn him. Protecting his waifu. Damn, I always miss the attack. That's that 60% is not kind to me. Four hundred, holy crap. Well, I'm glad you got her. <laughs> not like this. I think spent what, uh, a thousand? No, not. I don't think it's a thousand dollar. Maybe like seven hundred dollars. <throat> I, I gotta do the math. But uh, yeah, the guy spent. We we all remember this, right? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you do. I think it was uh Jack, Francis Drake, and Xuan Zhang. Although I think uh Jack was the worst. Burn Emya. <laughs> don't do it. Whatever happened to Zis? Did he give up FGO? Uh, maybe. I. You could probably ask people who has him on his friend list. <clears throat> I'm sure he has a few. But um. Yeah, hopefully he didn't quit. You love Cleopatra? She's underrated? I don't think she's underrated. I mean, other people may think so. I actually really like her. She's great. Especially uh, AoE Assassins being so rare. No, she's uh, a great damage dealer. Merlanda! Yes, it's been a while. How's everything? Fifty K stocking so far. Damn. Fifty K <clears throat> Holy crap. Uh what happened to not a well? Uh he quit, but I'm not gonna get to into his story. I'm sure you could find his story on the internet forums. About 36 hours with a CE drop. Uh, well, <laughs> congrats on the CE drop. <clears throat> Rakune, glad I'm streaming again. Yeah, absolutely. I typically stream when uh, when I have to. <laughs> you know, this lottery system is too good to miss.
Alka, thank you for the subscription. Should you roll for um Metal I I don't know. I, I think I know who you're talking about. That's a Sakura face. They're, they're both Sakura face. Right, Xavier? Metalith? Lith? Whatever. <laughs> She's the one with the uh, feet slicing thing, I believe. And then Passion Lip. Uh, Passion Lip is the one with the huge asset. I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> I, I don't know their abilities, so... Oh, that was sarc just sarcasm. Everybody knows why he quit. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Just be sure. Um, damn, Lauren, you got a Ishtar from a single pull on your main account. Rubbing the salt, I see. Well, congrats. Bless you with um, RNG luck when Musashi comes to NA. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get her. But of course, I hope I get her. If, if it's between you and me, of course, I got. I, Musashi should choose me, not you. Get your first. What is it? Uh, stock. First CE drop after 8k stockings. Holy crap. But, uh, congrats. Meowchi Mochi. How's it going? Will Ishtar be on the New Year's banner? She should. Keyword should. Um, according to JP. Are we gonna fight uh, to the death for Musashi's life, uh, love? There's no need because she already loves me. So there's no need to fight. I'm her husband though. Summer Musashi went exactly. Oh, I think there was a CE of her, right? I'm trying to remember. There's lots of CEs of uh, waifus. Oh, uh, you wish me uh, luck for Musashi as well? Oh, now you make me sound like a, a jerk. <laughs> I, I wish you the best of luck as well. Um, Let's see. Yeah, roll on Lost Belt 3. Yes, I did. I spent a 10 shot. And I think a few singles. Uh, I got nothing. I was trying to go for that uh, Prince guy. I don't know what's his name. But, uh, nope. Didn't got anything. You thought I was uh, John's uh, husband? Of course I am. Who says I can't have uh, multiple waifus, right? Who is on the New Year's banner? Musashi and potentially Ishtar. Finally, I got the attack up. Oh, man. Sixty percent is no joke. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull for Caster Gill. I already have him for on JP. <clears throat> I try to separate the two accounts in terms of servants. You have to skip King Hassan just for a chance for MHX Altar. I see. Well, good luck for MHX Altar. She's awesome. She's a freaking Sith Lord. <laughs> New Year's is best uh, opportunity to murder your wallet for the sake of waifus. Exactly. It's a brand new year, a brand new start. Brand new waifus for all of us. I 
I am absolutely ready for Babylon. It's going to be cool. Juzao, thank you for the subscription. Let's see, when you zero sync courts on both games. <laughs> oh man, I know that feeling. Two hundred courts for Gorgon. My body is ready. <laughs> well, good thing is she's a four star, so uh, you should keyword should be able to summon her within that amount. It's almost 710 shots, but, uh, you know, gotcha gods could be unkind sometimes. Congrats on uh, finishing Camelot. It's a great story, and it was fun. I liked the challenge. Rakune, thank you for the donation. That means a lot. How hard is Solomon? I didn't do any research because I like the surprise, but I heard that um, as long as you have high bond servants, you should be good. So start working on those bond points. How much uh, synchronous do I have saved for Musashi? I, I have to check. I think it's like 200 something. I had 300 something. And then I spent. 90 Saint Courts. Yeah, so I had like three, 310 originally, but then 90 Saint Courts for Ishtar. So about, but then I, that's not include the 10 Saint Courts we received, or the few Saint Courts we received from the event and, um, I guess, gifts from the game opening up in, I think, Singapore? Can't remember. I know this game launched in a different country I just don't recall what do I think about this year's Christmas story I like it I mean it's uh you know I always love when they break the fourth wall uh, Santa Lily is freaking adorable. You just want to give her a hug. <clears throat> Who do I want in Babylon? Are you talking about the servants? Um, Enkidu is awesome. <laughs> Enkidu and Gorgon. Quetz and Ozzy are pretty much equal. I see. <laughs> Should you make an MP2 Siegfried or wait to make him a rare prism and get uh, Mona Lisa? Um, I mean, I guess you could just just hold off. Don't do anything yet. See if you get spooked by another. Damn, there's no Cleopatra thing. Whatever. Um, just wait. Don't combine, um, don't MP2 him yet, or burn him just yet. Don't we get 10 quarts on Wednesday? I believe so. Did we hit, that's for Babylon, right? That's the threshold. I don't know if we hit that threshold yet, like the uh, amounts of likes and shares. Normally we, we do, I don't see why not.
Uh, if I'm ready for Babylonia, does that mean I'm ready to see Ishtar, the useful goddess, in action? <laughs> Can't wait for it. It's just going to be so much salt because I didn't pull her. Uh, kind of wanted Enkidu, but with your experience on um, Karna, you don't think you don't. Oh, you won't get him. Well, uh, I don't know if you're free to play, Anissa, but the Lancer GSSR is a great opportunity to try to get um, Karna or Enkidu. Vivace, how's it going? I didn't see you till now. Yes, Merlanda, they are learning. I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's showing that they're listening to us. And that's all we ask for. That's all we ask for. Where's the thumbnail art from? Uh, I just Googled it. I, um, FGO, Cleopatra, wallpaper. <laughs> I don't have the exact link, but you should be able to find it within like the first few images, I believe. No more Lancers for you <laughs> for a while. I see. Eresh is still better than Ishtar, and Toho Slimer can agree with you. <laughs> Nonsense! Both of you are wrong. Ishtar has that beautiful black hair. The drop rate is 2%, which is not good. Wow. How can you get a JP account? Uh, I forgot you have to download, like, basically... Japan's version of like the app store and that's where you could download the game but I forgot what the app is called uh, why am I farming stockings now well it's always good to have uh, more because I need the gems, more friend points because of my anger mind you. More experience cards. Lots of stuff. Damn. Yeah. Rush really is better at being late and becoming playable. I'll give you that. I see. I actually didn't really look at her skill set. Whenever you try to download the JP version from iTunes, it changes to America. Well, I don't know about that. Merlin is December 19th, right? I believe that's JP, right? Uh, since that is the exact date. Uh, around then. We should be expecting him like mid-December though, so just prepare yourself. After Babylonia. No, after Babylon chapter or Babylon uh, banner. There we go. Banner 2. Merlin will be the third coming of salt. What's the second? I know uh, Jolter was the first. Or unless 
Gahawk or Tamamo back in the day was the big salt uh, gacha back then. Jokes for a second. Tamamo? Okay, yeah, I agree. Tamamo was the first. So many of us wanted her. <laughs> uh, I spent so much. First, she was the first banner I ever purchased Saint Courts. She, her banner uh, broke my free to play spree. There you go. Oops. Oh, I just realized I didn't activate Shiki's skill. If it was Skahawk, I didn't you didn't feel any salt in the banner. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll give you ten dollars if you use all golden apples you have in the lottery. Nah, I'm good. I appreciate the offer though. <laughs> but I'm saving my golden apples for the Babylon chapter. I'm only gonna spend like forty. Not even. I still have like thirty five silver apples. No way I can farm that long. And since I no longer spend, actually, I never. No, I did. I did. I lied. Um, I don't spend Saint Quartz to refill my AP gauge. I need to spread my golden apples out so I could stream often. All right, Merlanda, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> uh, Tamo broke your cherry as well. How long till Ultria gets interlude uh, in NA? I have no idea. You get golden apples during the first week of Babylonia chapter. Oh yeah, then we get 12. Still, I like to spread it out. <laughs> Sad boy. Altria. Uh, you just triggered this chat. Everyone's like, what? Altria? You're drunk. You hope you get uh, Medusa SSR someday. Well, I don't think there's any other version of her. You got the original, you got the uh, Lolly, the Gorgon. The closest thing would be the from the movie. Uh, first was it what was it? First Order, I think it was called. The FGO movie, uh, where Medusa has a scythe. Basically it's the adult version of the Lolly. Or Summer Medusa, I can see that. But I feel like she's a four star. I don't know. It depends how popular she gets uh, with the Heaven's Field movie. I feel like uh, that will impact her popularity and thus po um, impact her rarity. Matt, what's up? Last day to farm, do the work. No way you're gonna burn through all your apples. That's alright, you got all safe. Medusa was your original fate waifu? Really? That's interesting. Most people had a uh, Rin or Reen, for those who are really uh, passionate about pronunciation, um, and Artoria. Artorio was mine. Yeah. 
I feel like th there's not lo enough love for Sakura. You're hyped for Babylonia? I think we all are. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, no doubt. Nephi, thank you for the subscription. Sakura gets undeserved hate. Well, I don't know about um, Devin's Fuel movie, but I mean she's all right. I don't know why why people hate her, but she's just I don't know. Not my uh, ideal waifu. <laughs> You didn't beat Camelot yet? Well, uh, there's no rush. There's no rush. Uh, but if they do the same thing as JP, then you will have to beat Babylonia in 30 days. So a month. Because I think they will reward us 30 Saint Quartz. That's for JP. I'm not sure if we're going to have the same thing. I could imagine there's going to be outrage if there was, but we'll see. I don't like worms. Oh, yeah, I forgot what was done to her. You like uh, Sakura a bit more after watching the Prisma movie? Yeah, that's actually true. I actually, uh, she was... Kind of awesome. I wish she had more role, but or screen time, but eh, it's all right. You won't hold your breath. <laughs> That's Mars. That's Mars. Azure Triblade, thank you for your subscription. Uh, yeah. JP got 30 Saint Quartz. Uh, I could be wrong, but I remember seeing that if you beat Babylonia in 30 days. Um, then you get 30 Saint Quartz when Solomon comes out. But I could be wrong. I could have misread it. Basically, we get uh, 30 Saint Quartz if we beat one of the chapters. I, I don't know which one. Either Babylon or Solomon uh, within a month. According to JP. How many stockings? I think I have 1k. Uh, you gotta check. Oh, it's if you beat it before Solomon's release. Well, then that's less than 30 days then. Or, I mean, yeah, less than 30 days. Because they're going to release Solomon chapter maybe like mid-December. So that's actually worse. <laughs> oh, I got uh, 1,400. You know what? I'll, I'll just do some pulls. That silver ticket. You can still do it with uh, no issue. I, I mean, if people are, if people beat Camelot or is on Camelot, then definitely I think, you know, you could do it in two weeks. But for those who maybe started earlier or, <laughs> I know one of my friends, he neglected the, the singularity. So he's a bit behind or really behind. Then it's a bit more challenging. One singular in two days is doable. Yeah, absolutely. But that's if you really grind. <laughs> it's 
It's actually absolutely doable, but it's just that people may not people may not have the time for that. Read. No, you're not late. Camelot took me two days, but that's when I really committed. And I use apples. I use a lot of apples. And America. I think America took me two days as well. Oh my god. This new uh, s fast 10 spin is a freaking godsend. Oops. You guys remember back in the day where <laughs> it took so much longer? Uh, do I like worms? Because we're going to see a lot more in Heaven's Field. Yeah, I know. It's that uh, Shinji's grandpa. That Mato guy. If you had to go to menu to spin every time, you'd go crazy. Yeah. Look at that. Just like that, I spent uh, over a thousand stockings really fast. Back then was horrible. Oh, oh let me get my Santa, Santa Lily has officially joined me. And I think my game just froze. She broke my game. <laughs> There we go. Merry Christmas, Master. Aratamite, Janna Daruk Orta, Santa Lily, Dancer Santa, Shokan Yoji, Sanjo Shimas. She's so adorable. I need to hurry that box number is weak. Oh, that hurts. Uh, okay, I locked her. Gotta make sure I locked her. Uh, I could buy... Oh, wow, look at that. I could buy all four already. Easy. Easy stuff. Damn, why is my loading so slow? <laughs> Why do they still have one spin but uh spin? Who in the right mind would use that? I know, right? <laughs> uh they should just take it out, but I mean You you have some crazy folks out there who just likes being who just likes torture, I guess. Babylonia was pretty easy. I gotcha. Oh, it ended uh, abruptly. I think the story's oh, it's pretty good. I mean, again, it's just a fourth wall breaking. How sore was my thumb during a uh, narrow fest? I probably forgot, but I know I grinded a lot, so it was uh wasn't pleasant. I think it I forgot which event traumatized me. <laughs> I was like, you know, I just gotta stay away from FGO for like a week or two. If Camelot is a 9 out of 10, then Babylonia is 7 out of 10 in difficulty? Really? Damn. I was hoping the difficulty would, you know, spike up the more we progressed, but it's okay. I'll just use bronze and silver servants if it's that easy.
Did I pre-order the Jolter figure by Alter? Hell no! Ugh, oh, that shit's like 300 bucks. Including shipping. It's like 260, 270. And then international shipping. So, oh, that's a lot. This is like 300 bucks. No, I'm not getting it. Uh, I actually toned down my uh, merchandise purchasing. Uh, there are some that I want. But typically my limit is like 150 now. And that's like pushing it. And actually, what I'm trying to do with my fate figures, I'm trying to collect one of each servant that I like. You know, like, you, you don't see my collection right now, but I have like, what? One, two, three, four, like, seven to eight saber figures, and uh, it's just not that great to me. I like to diversify. Yeah, it's getting so expensive. The freaking Ishtar, I really wanted that. The Ishtar uh, Animplex figure, but that, that stuff's like 220 or something, last I check. The Jolter figure from Animplex was only 158 or something. So that was, I, I want to say affordable, but it's, it's a lot better than two something. A lot of people got angry after Camelot with the that difficulty spike. I, why would you be angry? I don't understand. Well, no, yeah, I don't understand. I didn't even use my uh, my uh, five stars or any of my um. Oh shit! I'm not. Ugh. I'm not even thinking. <laughs> I was so distracted. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> For some reason, I gave bus the Buster Buff to Ashiki. Oh, I was so distracted. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why people were so pissed off. Hey, Veru! Farming's going uh, great. I hunty. Hunte. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, fucked up. Oh man, this, uh, this last one's gonna be bad. Oh yes, Nito. I'm gonna get Nito as well. There's lots of figures. There's Dantes. Oh, the Arthur and Merlin by Alter. I really hope it's affordable. Uh, we'll see. It was so surprising to Japs. Oh, yeah. It was for uh, Japan. That's why. But uh, I don't know. It's like I like that challenge. I love that um, difficulty. Because, um, yeah, and honestly, the only time I use a non-free-to-play servant was, um, Ozzy. And that's Herc. I use Herc with the Bonsi E to kill, um, oh, I shouldn't really spoil. Well, I mean, you know Ozzy's in it, but sorry for spoilers for those who hadn't beat it yet. But, uh, there's one boss. I use Herc. <laughs> I always say it's Ozzy, but still. And that's the only time. And then Gwen, I used a support Orion. So, I don't know. What's the purpose of Jack if you have Merlin? Well, Jack is totally different from Merlin. She's a waifu killer. That's one fourth scale of Ar uh, Artoria, though. Oh yes, I know uh, Shotgun Shogun's getting that. It looks good. Although I like her with her armor on. I believe the one that one fourth scale doesn't have an armor. You beat uh, Gwen without Uriel, just three star. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, so it's definitely doable. So I don't understand. Well, it was Japan. You said that had the complaint, right? Because for NA, I think we look forward to that challenge. Two hundred ish uh, for Ishtar figure, well worth it. I know. Oh no, Weaver died. Um, it looks so nice. The Ishtar figure. I gotta try to find it for cheaper. I don't know. 
It's a low chance, but if I'm lucky enough to find it on eBay. But typically, people, um, the aftermarket price is more expensive. Damn it! Cleo just couldn't kill her husband. Husbando. Alright. My figure collection. Ah, you use that too. I think that's the go to for everyone. Yes, that Nito uh, by. Oh, I actually don't know that company, but it looks good. Amakuni. As the manufacturer. But there's a lot of beautiful figures. Um, let me see. If you grant order. Oops. Can't believe I spelled that. There we go. <laughs> we were ready for it. Yes, that is true. While JP got stabbed in the back. Let's see, Ishtar figure looks so nice. Um, they're remaking the Skahawk figure, I think Plum. Oh my god, I remember there was QC issue with that. Oh yes, the Raiko. Oh, well, I'm gonna just pull this up real quick. For those who uh, don't know, look at that, that Okita figure. Okay to alter. That is so cool. Yeah, you, you guys got me into like figures. <laughs> oh, no, I'm being sidetracked. It. I should be just farming. Oh yes, yeah, Scott Hawk from Plum. Yeah, her head popped off. Uh, I don't even know. Did they? Did the company refund the money? They should or exchange it. But Plum, I don't trust Plum. Uh. I think they made a Serenity. I can't remember who made the Serenity, but the, it was not great. The Arthur. Let me, let me guys show you the Arthur one. I'm, I'm trying to get you guys into this hobby. Bam! Look at this Arthur figure. Oh, it's just prototype. Yeah. By Alter. You know that's a good company. What else? Uh, yeah, you guys got me to the whole figure. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, this is my last one, but Merlin, right there. Uh, there's, it's not colored yet, but it looks beautiful. All right, that's my last one. I'm getting sidetracked. It. All right, so what is chat talking about? Wasted time with gacha games. Can't afford another hobby that makes you spend money. That is true. That is so true. Uh, let's see. Arthur detected. Quest is rising in quality, in your opinion. Yes, Quest is good. Uh, they made the Skahawk. Um figure after plum though <laughs> after plum's disgrace you want a grants figure <laughs> you and me both grants would be cool the caster gill yep that's great as well how far am i in jp i am how far am i i think i am on okeanos You can only afford Figma. Hashtag bro college kid. Well, Figma is rising in price though. That's the... I used to collect Figma, but that's when I bought uh, those figures for like 40, 50 bucks. And that was affordable for a Figma. 
but now they're raising to like 70 plus. That Gilgamesh figure, uh, Figma, was so expensive. <laughs> the Merlin figure is lacking something, full kicking him in the face. You know, I'm gonna continue this figure. But I swear, because of this chat, who, who started this figure talk? Here I here I said I'm gonna slow down my figure collecting, and now I'm looking into fake grand order figures again. Who got me back into this hobby? Damn it! Uh, if I could pre-order. Oh, I'm not at Lost Belt. <laughs> yes, I summoned on Lost Belt three. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Shall you ban the culprit? I forgot who the culprit is. Uh, let's see. Okay, give me that attack buff. Yes. We're waiting for a good Fran figure. I know they're making a summer Fran. Let's see. Use Mordred on the last wave. Can she one-shot them? I heard people said no, use Mordred, but I never actually tried. But I, I guess I'll try it next one. But going back to the figures. Hmm. Oh yes, they're, they made a coup figure. I think that should kill. Yeah, that should kill it. A coup figure, Arthur, let's see. So Dante's figure looks awesome. Oh yes, yeah, the upcoming MASH. So many good figures. Oh, Morja has to be MP3 or 4 with buffs. <laughs> I can't use her then. She's only MP2. The Dangerous Beast figure? Uh, no, for MASH. I'm talking about this one. Where is it? Uh, is this it? Yeah. It's by Stronger. I don't know anything about that company though. But this is the match figure I'm talking about. Looks freaking great. Yeah, basically. That's the one I was talking about. I think that's gonna cost like 200 though, so I may not get it. Is my Cleo 10 skilled? Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. So many good figures, huh? <laughs> Go figure. I know, right? Ugh. It's just too much. How many CEs do I have? I have five. I th yeah, I have five. Four from the shop, one from the drop. Sad boy. Uh, you didn't miss much. We just, we're just talking about uh, fate figures. Your Nightingale can one shot. Oh, no, no, no. Nightingale with more J can one shot. Oh, okay, I got it. Wish you were rich so you could spend it all on the Fates franchise. <laughs> I think we all. Figures. Pff, let's see. The only thing I collect are Amiibos. <laughs> well, Amiibos are uh, 
I, I was thinking about getting into it before collecting um fate figures. I mean, big step up, I know, but I actually thought about it. Why buy figures when you can make them? <laughs> I'm not that skilled. If I can make them, oh, that'll be awesome. Uh, what box cycle am I on? I think on on uh, I can't remember. Eighth box? I'm slacking. John Doom. I don't have her. Let me scroll up. Who don't I have? Nightingale. Yeah, I don't have her. I was hoping I could get her, but nope. <laughs> Four days till Smash. Yeah, I don't have a Switch either. I'm just gonna stick to one gaming console, and that's just the PS4. Although Switch is awesome. Yeah, they have a lot of great games. My friend bought it. But I'm just gonna stick with one gaming console. I still gotta catch up on a lot of uh, PS4 games. Especially when KH3 is coming out soon. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Well, I don't even know what the story's about anymore, but. Oh shit. Uh, whatever. Story's gonna be amazing. Am I playing Red Dead 2? No. <laughs> uh, I'm currently playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Like I said, I'm behind on my games, but. Uh, I didn't even play the new God of War game yet. I just bought it uh, on Black Friday. But like I said, I, I, I haven't played the Spider-Man game. I gotta get that. Actually, I'm just waiting for like a Game of the Year edition. Thank God I did not pre-order or buy Fallout 76. <laughs> after everyone's like... Or after the reviews and everything. Bugs. Sakura! Seika! Thank you for the subscription. You mostly collect Kotobush... Bushojo. Oh, Kotobukiya Bush, uh, Bushojo figures. I got you. Uh, some are rare. I wanted to get into the Bushojo. Uh, I, I'm mispronounced. The Kotobukiya DC line, basically. I want to get into that. Um, the old ones, but they're expensive now. So. Bloodborne. Now, I, I didn't get into. <laughs> I, I, I tried to play Dark Souls. Um, I. Kill, I didn't got far. I think I got lost a bit and then I fought a mini boss. It took forever. And I realized it was just a mini boss and so I just gave up. Like, oh. So you can call me a scrub. I'm not one of those hardcore players who has like a speed run or like a timing of, you know, killing these bosses. There are some insane people. Maybe I'll get back into it. I don't know. But it's just funny, my reaction. Because, uh, like I said, I fought the mini-boss not knowing it was a mini-boss. I just thought it was like, the first boss. And it took me like a long time. The <laughs> disgusting casual. Damn, that hurts. I, but I met, I met. I'm a casual for Dark Souls, right? <laughs> or am I excited for Babylon? Yeah, absolutely. My game of the year. Oh man, this this year's gonna be great. Normally, I don't really care for game of the year. Um, two years ago, I think 2016 was awful. There was there was I think Overwatch won, but there wasn't really much of a contender. Last year was decent. Actually, last year was pretty good. I think it was Horizon. Oh no, not 2016. 2015. I'm getting my years mixed up. But this year, I don't know. I think Red Dead will win. Red Dead or God of War. But most likely Red Dead for Game of the Year. Or Fortnite, yeah. <laughs> I can see Fortnite winning. Next year, Kingdom Hearts 3! 
Uh, yes, I hope. But I don't think it's going to get Game of the Year. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Red Dead 2 will be the winner. Oh, has it been decided? I don't think so. Yes, Anthony. Farming like many players. Oh, yes. DMC 5. I'm looking forward to that. I played all the DMC games. Huge fan. Although, I hope... I don't know. I, I just like using Virgil. I hope they somehow have some... Well, there's rumors that he's back, but I don't know if he should come back. Oh, DMC 5. I don't know how I feel about the 5... Oh, not the 5. The 3 play... The 3... Protagonist. The story thing. I typically like to use just one protagonist and just one character throughout the story missions. Horizon Zero Dawn was excellent. Yes, that was a great game. Although, you, I may get a lot of hate for saying this. I don't know why. It, it, it was an awesome game. But... Maybe I had a high expectation for it, like a really high expectation. I was kind of let down on it because, um, you know, it, it's besides the robots, dinosaurs, you know, some different gaming mechanics. It's it feels the same as, you know, other open worlds. It's just like that same feeling. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I just put too much of an expectation on it. But I was kind of disappointed in uh, Horizon Dawn. Does Kingdom Hearts have trailer dropping this month? I have no idea. I, I'm i trying to keep away from all trailers from Kingdom Hearts. I, I, I saw some, but just trying to stay away from it. Did I play the DLC uh, for Horizon Dawn? Is that what you're talking about? The Frozen whatever? If so, yes. That, I really like that. Although, I, I think I know what the main problem for Horizon Dawn, my, my problem, it was so anticlimactic. The final boss fight was so uninteresting. I don't know. I was expecting something amazing for some reason, but it was, I don't know. It, it didn't really stood out. Yes, so many trailers for Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't know. Movie trailers and game trailers, I feel like they're spoiling a lot of stuff. Square Enix Avengers. <laughs> Gorgon! How's it going? Uh, what are we talking about? We're just talking about uh, video games. Console games, to be more specific. Bayonetta 3. I didn't play 2 because I didn't have the Wii U. I think it was on that console. Fallout 76. <laughs> oh, don't bring that up. Hey, Mysterious Hero X. Congrats on the Ishtar. Uh, are you going to farm till my lotto box is empty? Well, the lottery is infinite. But the sh uh, store, I'm not going to go after the store. It's eh. Andreas, uh, no, sorry, I don't have any available space. Have I played Fate Extella? Yes, I, I didn't like it. I hate the whole capturing the territory thing. It ruined the experience. I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Dynasty Warrior games. Um, I didn't play the recent ones. I played Dynasty Warriors 
up to eight. Dynasty Warriors eight. I played uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Freaking loved. Oh shit! Look at that. Got another one. Um. Yeah. So I played. Dynasty Warriors uh, Gundam was a freaking amazing. Uh, but Fate of Stella was not good. I don't know. I hated it. Hopefully, Extella Link was is better. The new Smash Bros. looks amazing. <laughs> There's a lot of characters. Didn't do enough research on it because I don't own a Switch. Dead or Alive 6. I never got into those. I'm more of a Soul Calibur guy. Soul Calibur. I used to... I was a huge fan of Street Fighter. And Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Back in the day. I used to watch Torments. Filipino champ, right? <laughs> he, was a, he was a cock arrogant person, but... I think he won. Can't remember. So many years ago. Let's see. How many C drops do I have? I think now it's two. You would love a fate game in the style of Persona games. Social links with servers. Yo, that would be awesome. A Persona. Fate game or something like that, yeah. That like RPG, yeah. You know, can you imagine Persona Five gameplay and like social links, but for Fate, that would be really good. You finished Last of Us Remastered. Yes, Last of Us. Uh, I played the PS3 one, um, but same thing, except for the graphics. Great game. Persona and uh, Fate collab. Oh, I wish. That would be one of the most amazing thing ever. Oh, better not use that. Favorite game of all time is Persona 5. For me, fa uh, Persona 5 is my all-time favorite R JRPG game. It's definitely one of the best. Had so much fun with it. Alright, Veiru. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Thoughts on Fate Extra. I never got into the games. Kill a Kill, the game, yes. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, like, anime fighting games. I mean, they're fun. I, the only anime fighting game I played was uh, Naruto, the Ninja Storm. But I played it more so for the story or the... Yeah, the story quest because of the cool boss fights. Not so much about the fighting mechanics. What do I think about the recent censorship in PS4 that hurts Japanese developers? What? There's a recent uh, censorship? <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not getting Smash because I don't have a Switch. I didn't play any of the Dragon Ball fighting games. Uh, no, I didn't get into it. <laughs> Ninja Storms. Yeah, it was great. Fire Emblem for Switch. Yes, I heard uh, they're making a dedicated Fire Emblem game for that. Oh, uh, Carefree Dot. I, I actually did not know. <laughs> uh, do I know about FGO Servant Censorship in China server? Yes, I know about that. But not about the PS4 censorship. Wins uh, Seto Kaiba in Jump Force? I know, right? They have Yugi. You gotta have Kaiba. Yo, but for Jump Force, what I'm excited for was uh, Roroni Kenshin. Kenshin Himura and Makoto Shishio. 
Oh, that's gonna be great. What was censored in China? Uh, some of the servants and CEs, um, I guess, revealing outfits. Yeah, Matahari, uh, I think. What else? I know there were some more. Uh, let's see, there's a Japanese visual novel game that's quite edgy, it's censored with light blockings, okay. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know if it's unpopular, I, I'm sure it's a popular opinion, but I, I don't agree, agree with censorship, I mean, I don't see why they have to do it, but I, yeah, I don't know, I hate it. Okay, let me just show that. There we go. That video should. Let me just mute it first. So oh, this is from Otaku Daikun. I watched some of his videos. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I hate I hate censorship, but it is what it is. In China, a Yao Manga Kai was arrested. Damn, I don't know. This is the society we live in. They censor smoking and stuff. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> uh. But I don't know about like, again, the censorship for Japan, for like NA, I'm glad for us. They, we're not there, and hopefully we'll never get there, because uh, we have a like, Game of Thrones and stuff. <laughs> and oh my God, can you imagine them censoring shit? No, I, I, I wouldn't like it. Yeah, different culture, different values. Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> the violence. <laughs> Whether you can censor next breathing. Uh, don't tempt them. They just might. If uh, Raiko gets censored here, you'll go mad. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, China censors skeletons because uh, cults and superstitions. I see. Again, I don't really know agree with censorship, but uh, I think someone stated it's different culture. It w it's er ignorant of us to force down um, our beliefs or our values onto other people's. Just be glad it's not here in the states. That's what I'm happy for. I'm grateful for that. No. 
But because uh, Winnie the Pooh looks like she, uh, that person, Prime Minister. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, the view. That's our. <laughs> that's America right there. Uh, think of the children, and they're they're playing GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption, right? Red, uh, Red Dead 2. <laughs> that's just I don't know. People, right? People are fascinating. <laughs> FGO and Game of Thrones collab. Yo, that would be amazing. Right? Jon Snow as Saber. Or uh, Daenerys as... Um, who should be? Ryder. Show uh, Summon Drogo. How awesome would that be? Cersei as Avenger. <laughs> yes, I can see that. No, I think she's... Yeah, Avenger. Who else? Jamie Lannister as... Saber, I guess. But it seems typical. A lot of people are Saber. Who else? Who else? Oh, yeah. Nah, Sansa is horrible. I don't like her. <laughs> The mountain as a um, berserker. That would be cool. Martell as Lancer. Yes, Tyrion. You, you gotta have Tyrion. You think he would be. I don't know, what would Tyrion be? Caster? I see Caster as the most potential one, but I don't know if that would exactly fit. Tyrion as ruler. <laughs> the hound as berserker. Yeah, the hound and the mountain. The two brothers. Uh, people demonetize Pokemon as creatures of the devil in you know, your country. Damn. Arya as assassin. Bran, who, uh, he should be... Hmm, what should he be? The Three-Eyed Raven. Caster, I guess? Yeah, I, I see Caster. The Hound would be Avenger. Yeah, Avenger or Berserker. Yeah, he's not so much Berserker in my opinion. He's a bit more tame. When will our, uh, we have Artoria Berserker? Oh, that would be awesome. Jon Snow as Saber. Exactly. He has to be. Or, yeah, Saber or Ryder. But more so, uh, Saber. Hodor as <laughs> would be Shielder. <laughs> oh, man. Brienne as I uh, I can see her as Saber. A lot of people are Saber. Tywin Lannister. That's the person I was thinking about. What would he be? Yo, he's so awesome. No, forget Tywin. Joffrey. <laughs> what would Joffrey be? He's like the Shinji of the series, although a bit more crazy. But I, I can see if Shinji had power, he'd be a Joffrey. So, uh, am I enjoying Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Yo, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is so amazing. My friend told me about it. I was a bit of a skeptic because after the Exeo trilogy, I did not like the Assassin's Creed um, games afterwards. I don't know, I just didn't like it. But my friend told me about Odyssey, and I'm addicted to it. Ramsey. Yo, Ramsey is a berserker. He's just crazy. He does all kinds of stuff. Joffrey has cancer. <laughs> oh, man. AC Black Flag. I never got into it. Um, I know you're a pirate, but... Yeah, I think Assassin's Creed 3, I didn't complete it. I 
did not like it at all. I was thinking about Syndicate, but never got to playing it. <laughs> yes, I love the Exio trilogy. So fun. Semiramis uh, coming to NA in uh, 2020, Valentine's. How long am I going to be streaming? Uh, probably, probably, excuse me, mouth is a little dry. Uh, 30 more minutes. So, two hours. And then I'll probably stream tomorrow. I think this event is for two days, so. Unity. Uh, that game, I heard bad reviews, so I didn't got it. <laughs> Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Odyssey is too big for its own good? Huh. I don't know. I like the exploration. I, I could understand people being overwhelmed. I was actually kind of overwhelmed a bit in the beginning. Caspian, thanks for uh, <laughs> the kind words. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Am I leveling up any particular servants? Nah, not really. Kishu would say, I neglect them. And he's right. <laughs> hey, Jack the Ripper. Kinda, but it's okay. Rarer late than never. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Wait, Revelations is the last game of the Exio Trilogy, right? I liked it. Although it felt like a glorified DLC. <laughs> For those who played the last uh, Exio game, I don't know. There's not much to it. It's like a $60 DLC. That's how I felt. Yeah, AC2, best trilogy, you know, or best Assassin's Creed. <laughs> any news on FF7 Remake? Oh, boy. Uh, any news we get, we have to wait another three more years. And it's like, here's a new trailer. Hopefully that will satisfy us for, you know, five years. And then we may get another trailer. There you go. Oh, did I? I think I forgot to activate skill. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII will come out in 3018. <laughs> That's when we're all dead. It's Final Fantasy VII. An ancient revival. Uh, FF7 is in the same case as Kingdom Hearts 3, you think? Uh, I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is a bit more... Uh, set in stone in terms of release. Let's wait uh, for three or four more years. Yeah, I just hope they don't screw it up. Nowadays, I'm sure many of you know, but uh, actually, I think you killed. It. Developers, you know, companies are releasing unfinished games. I mean, I hate that. And then they try to patch it up. Yes, that's a shot at <laughs> uh, Fallout 76. And also Final Fantasy 15. The story was unfinished and actually the whole game was still unfinished. It's a great game. Story was crap in my opinion. Don't hate me for that. But the gameplay was amazing. But it's still... It was still unfinished because uh, originally you could have, you know, the trailers show you could switch between the four characters. They didn't have it. Oh yes, Metal Gear 5. But for what it was worth, Metal Gear 5 was, the story wasn't completed. The missions, oh yes, uh, I forgot, uh, the missions weren't completed as well. There was a, like a secrets or a um, unfinished story. But uh, we all know what happened to Kojima.
Yes, Final Fantasy 15 had so many story holes. Eh, it is what it is, though. What I was most disappointed about 15 was the potential it had because of Versus, thir uh, versus 13. You know, that's the original name. You know, Noctis was supposed to be a cool, you know, kind of the... I wouldn't even say emo. I, I didn't even see him as an emo character, like Cloud. <laughs> but, um... You know, he seemed like... Because there was a release, a uh, cutscene release, where he was talking to the female protagonist, Stella. And he seemed pretty charismatic. You know, he cracked a little bit joke. Noctis seemed cool, but then... <laughs> the finished product, Noctis was a whiny brat. In my opinion. Oh yes, 15's not getting the... Yeah, they're not getting the two DLCs I want the most. Aranea and Lunafreya. I was looking forward to those, but nope. We're not getting it. Uh, what are my thoughts on the last movie of a series being slipped into two parts? Uh, is there any specific? In terms of movie, or are you just talking about generally? No, the last part of a movie being split. Like, uh, Harry Potter, for example. Uh, then know that Japan, a game series competing with uh, Final Fantasy, is a hentai game, really? Damn! Oops, I gotta skip that. You missed the good old, good old days where games were always delivered in finished states. Yes! Oh. Nowadays, people ha uh, half assing it. Yeah, I agree. It's basically a. Uh, I won't even say beta testing, you know, you're not. It's, you're, it's costing money, but yeah, it's unfinished. That's why I hate the most. When you have a game like Persona 5, where it's finished, or. Near Automata, or Automata. I know people are gonna drill me for the pronunciation, but um, those games were finished and it was amazing. Oh yes, random cat name. Yes, you remember when games used to be challenging? The PS1 era. Maybe it was challenging because I was a kid. Like I was only in like first grade or something. <laughs> Maybe that was why it was challenging, but still. Games these days are so easy. You always have to bump up the difficulty. Which, I mean, I'm glad it's there, but eh. You still haven't beat Nier? How? It's okay. I mean, you, you have to beat the three... There's three stories, you know? Route A, B, and then C slash D. Oh, Caspian, Legend of Dragoon! To tell the truth, that was my top JRPG game for the longest time. Until Persona 5, uh... Dethroned it. Because I just love Persona 5 so much. But Legend of Dragoon, so amazing. Lunar! I think it was Silver Star Story. I love that game as well. Lunar, what else, what else? Digimon Rumble Arena. Me and my friends used to play that like it was Smash. Because <laughs> I didn't own an N64. And, uh... Yeah. Good times. Uh, except for Blo Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Those games are just, as, uh, just difficult. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think someone called me a filthy casual. Maybe I'll get back into it, but... Nah. We'll see. Tales of Eternia. I never got... The first Tales game I got into was Symphonia. And then from there, I played most of the console ones. So Grace, Vesperia, Exilia, Zesteria. So many Ilias. <laughs> I did not beat Berseria. I think I'm mispronouncing it. But it's because I didn't really like the characters. Or uh, the potential I had was lost. Hmm. 
Symphonia was the best. It was amazing. Berseria was pretty fun. Yeah, the gameplay was good. It's just, um... I love the story until a certain part. <laughs> Dark Souls or nothing. <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting called out. Uh... I think, oh yes, Zesteria, the one with the dragons. Yo, that was so frustrating. I hated that game. The story was bland, and the fighting mechanics was stupid. The fusion was a good idea, but then the AI would fuse and die. And then essentially you have two characters that died. You know, and so I have to manually turn off the fusion sometimes. But for Basiria, the story, like I said, had so much potential, but then they I felt like it was rushed. I didn't beat it. Dark, Soul, uh, Dark Souls. All the lore. You know what would be great? If they made like a Dark Souls um, series, like a show. Kind of like Castlevania for uh, Netflix. If they made Dark Souls, that would be freaking awesome. Tales of Vesperia, yes. I'm not getting the definitive edition though. I already beat it. I'm kind of like, eh. I know what to expect. Favorite anime? Oh, there's just so much. Uh, I guess for a favorite anime, is something you would rewatch and it would not be a chore. If that's the case, Roroni Kenshin. That's called Berserk. <laughs> uh. Cow Cowboy Bebop. I heard Netflix is making a live action. It's gonna be awful. Netflix live action is gonna be awful. You have uh, Bleach. I just watched some of the cutscenes, so I can't really judge it too much, but it looked bad. Full Metal Alch Alchemist was not great. Um, oh, don't even get me started on the Netflix live action Death Note. Oh, that was just horrendous to watch. It was actually hilarious. I I could I, I don't understand. Was was the Netflix Death Note going for a comedy, horror, or thriller or something? I don't know. All right. Uh, Villa Lobos, take care. Am I looking forward to... Oh, Deadpool as Detective Pikachu. Yo, I'm actually excited for that. The trailer is actually pretty good. <laughs> not gonna lie. Ryan Reynolds as uh, Pikachu. The, the comedy's gonna hit. I hope they... I don't know if... I'm, I'm hoping they break the fourth wall just a bit. Just a tad bit. But it's gonna look good. That's Monster Hunter live action. I'd never watch that, or I, I I'm not a huge fan of Monster Hunter. I, or I shouldn't say I'm not a huge fan. I never got into it. <clears throat> but the Pokemon is kind of creepy. Yeah, I think Charizard was something's off about it. <laughs> you hate the Death Note live action. Oh, the Roni uh, Kenshin live actions. No, those were pretty good. I actually liked it. Uh, the choreography, the fight scenes were really good. Especially the actor. I don't know what's his name. Uh, for Kenshin, Himura. He was really, really good actually as Batosai. It really showed how he was traumatized. And I think he did some of the stunts. So... Mr. Mine. <laughs> I think Mr. Mine was supposed to be a bit terrifying in that. I think they were going for that. It's okay. <laughs> Real question is who liked Death Note live action? Oh my god. Only good thing was... Um, 
the Reaper. Damn, I forgot his name. Damn, it starts with R. I forgot the Reaper's name. That's the only good thing about the uh, live action. Yeah, Ryuk, right? Ryuk, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. Yeah, because of Willem Dafoe, he was the f excellent casting for, or voice. But he reminded me, uh, whenever he talked in that movie or in that show, it reminded me of uh, Green Goblin from the Spider-Man movie. All right, Reed, take care. Have I seen Batman Ninja? Oh my God! Don't get me started on that. Batman Ninja, it was all over the place. If you turn off your brain, I think you could have a good time. But I was, my initial expectations of it was a serious um, Batman movie, just taking place in Japan, right? But <laughs> it got so ridiculous where it became hilarious. What's what's it with people adapting anime as live action? Well, there's a certain appeal to live action. That's why we have um, Marvel and DC Universe, right? The live movies. Um, there's just a certain greatness to live action. I don't know. It's just cool. But um, anime, we kind of want that same feeling we get from, let's say, a Marvel movie. Well, at least for me. But so far, they're not doing a good job with it yeah hopefully they get it right Roni Kenshin to me they did a good job right of course you know there, it's a uh, you can only do so much in a movie so that's understandable but that's the only one oh my god don't even get me uh, what other live action was for Prince of Tennis was god awful oh my god the acting was so bad The only credit I give the Prince of Tennis live action is that the tennis, because I'm a tennis player, the tennis strokes actually looked more or less realistic. You know, it's real enough. But the act, other other than that, the acting was so bad. Oh, Attack on Titan is good comedy. <laughs> oh, it was freaking hilarious. Um, oh, spoil. I I'm gonna spoil the hell out of that stupid. I saw the first one. I I didn't even bother with the second one, but the <laughs> I would spoil the shit out of it. Don't even watch it. Uh, there was a baby Titan. What? What the freak is that? And then the chick who wanted to bang Aaron mid or no, she was she was getting uh undressed and she just got eaten by a Titan. Oh, she was screaming. It was hilarious. Ugh. And then what, what's this, like a love triangle between Levi, Mis uh, what the hell was it, Misaki? No, not Misaki. Mikasa, there we go. Mikasa and Eren. Some kind of weird love triangle shit. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Second one only got worse, really. But they fought with the uh, female titan. A Death Note movie directed by Tarantino. Oh, that would be really good. He's a really great director. Baby Titan. Yeah, there was a Baby Titan that was luring the uh, scouts. Yeah, it was crying. And then uh, it, tra it basically was a bait or something. Trapped the ser some of the no, scouts or units. And then they got attacked and killed. So it was like, what? That's stupid. How could you make realistic Titan look good? That's a tough job. It is tough, but I mean, CGI can only go for so. Can only you can only do so much, and it depends on the budget. They don't have the same. At least I don't think so. The same budget as let's say a Marvel movie.
Oh, there was a Gintama live action? I actually didn't know that. Never got into Gintama. I did, but that was when it was starting out. And then I stopped. Oh, crap. I forgot to activate. Um... Oh, no, I did activate it. Imagine if anime movies had a Marvel budget. Uh, in the future, maybe. Because anime culture in general is becoming quite popular. Um, in the States. So maybe in like the next five years. There's a high potential. But they would have to make a good, a solid, or choose a solid anime for the adaptation. Uh, Gabriel, yeah, they could definitely make good-looking titans. The thing is the budget. Because, uh, you know, Planet of the Apes, um, what else? Hulk, or Marvel, and uh, Lord of the Rings, those have high budget. So they can afford it. But I assume the live action doesn't really have a lot of, uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> financial resource. And... For Roroni Kenshin, there were some CGI, but most what made it so successful was the fight scenes, and that was just choreography. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, which studio would take on the anime project? Oh yeah, it's almost time to end the stream soon. I may stream a bit longer, maybe uh, 15 minutes longer. We're having a great discussion. Uh, my hero. Uh, could they make a? Um, could they make it good? Excuse me. Uh, they could if they got the budget. It's all about the budget. As long as they have the budget and the right team involved, they can make, you know, any anime mo uh, live action great. Avenger therefore you just like grinding. <laughs> but let me think. What else? For live action. Yeah, mainly my hero. And I guess Naruto. <laughs> if they had the right budget. The main issue would probably be some of the appearance of the characters. That's hard to have, a, or no, I guess reimagine for live action sometimes. Because sometimes the character just looks really ridiculous. You know, like, sometimes we see a person with spiky purple hair or something, we think of them as a, you know, K-pop star or something. You know? <laughs> they don't look like the character, but it's just like... I don't know. They probably have to work on the character design or something. Yes, the director has to have a passion. Oh my god. It's not anime, but the live action of uh, <laughs> The Last Airbender was horrendous. I can't believe I saw that in, de uh, in theaters. Uh, you know, uh, nobody was a fan of the, of the amazing cartoon. On. They call him On. Once I heard that, I knew... No one liked the show. Or so- uh, they, they call him Soka or something? <laughs> like, Soka! At least they got Zuko, right? But still, ugh. M. Night made it that because his daughters like the TV show. But still, you no, know, it, it, that has no- I'd rather have a director who has a strong passion for it. But, 
even if your parents and your children watches a cartoon, I assume you would know the character's name. At least watch a first episode of it or something. Like, I assume he did, or at least some of the actors or people responsible for the production, like, at least know how to pronounce the name. That was horrible. It was great for the laughs. I know. What? No, the firebending was hilarious. Yo, that was completely wrong. They could generate fire themselves, but in the in the movie, they have to have like torches or like existing fire to use it. That's horrible. But um Oh, the earthbending was horrible. I remember uh there was a group of earthbenders doing all these cool motions and freaking pebbles just floated in the air. <laughs> I I was done after that. A Gundam uh, live action, yo, that would be amazing. Because Ready Player One, they it shows that um, a Gundam would look great, you know. And then the characters do look uh, pretty. I, I should say realistic in terms of they're not overly designed, right? They don't have crazy. No, actually, I take that back. Some, some do. Some have like pink hair and stuff. I take that completely back. <laughs> Pacific Rim. Oh yes, Pacific Rim. So you know it's gonna be cool. I never watched the Ghost in the Shell adaptation. But I, from the trailers and some cutscenes, the world looks great. It looks beautiful, actually. Gundam, yes, Gundam would work great. So, I think... Maybe like a live action, what they could do is take... Some of the stories and lore of the original series and have their own twist to it. So example, um, have their own universe. Uh, Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they have the comic books as a guide and they take inspiration from it. Do the same thing for anime, right? Let's say a Gundam. Have, uh, let's say the first Gundam uh, anime. Take inspiration from them, but don't go exactly, you know, story for story as the cartoon. Have I seen the Netflix Punisher? Yes, I loved it. Oh, freaking hell. Speaking of Netflix, they freaking canceled Daredevil. Why? It's a stupid uh, Disney streaming service. So stupid. So far, Jessica Jones and Punisher are the only Marvel Netflix. Yeah, they're probably going to cancel all of it. But Daredevil Season 3 was so good. Oh yes, Great Ninja, absolutely. Um, season 1 was great. Actually, I think Season 3 is my favorite. Uh, that doesn't mean Season 1 and 2 weren't good. It's just... To me, season three was really good, especially the introduction of Bozai. Holy crap! Good story, good writing for his character. He's not just some random villain that's uh, obstacle for uh, Daredevil. Yeah, she has a really good story. Kind of feel sorry for the guy, even though he's kind of a maniac. <laughs> he just wanted to belong somewhere or have someone who cared for him. Castlevania, oh. It was so good. Season 3, so much hype for it. Uh, I heard that the creators of Castlevania, they're going to make a uh, Netflix Devil May Cry. That's why I heard. So I'm looking forward to that. And then they're going to have like a crossover or something. That's the plan. That's the uh, initial plan. Because they said they could kind of fit Daredevil. I'm oh, not Daredevil. Devil May Cry into Castlevania a bit.
but uh, we'll see. Oh, am I excited for the... Oh, Phoenix as uh, Joker. Yeah, he, he looks... I saw some of the trailers and clips. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Although the Joker movie is not... It's an origin, but... It's basically, of course, no. As any origin movie would go, it's just like a starting point. So we're not going to see him as the Joker majority of the time. If they didn't get DMC rights, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'll be pissed too. But hopefully they adapt Devil May Cry 3. Because that's a great introduction. Uh, Virgil and everything. Freaking Virgil is awesome. Can you imagine the cutscenes between Dante and Virgil? If uh, they had the same animators and... Uh, it's basically the same staff as Castlevania. Whew, it's going to be good. Because the Castlevania fight scenes were great. So I'm hoping that the... Hopefully they adapt Devil, Devil May Cry 3. Virgil versus Dante. You will kill for a Metroid uh, Netflix original. I can actually see that uh, happening. Metroid is... The difficult part would be... The CGI for the monsters. Or aliens. I shouldn't say monsters. <laughs> aliens. But... um. Samus, there, there has been great cosplay, and she seems pretty... Have the right cast, I think they could pull it off. Uh, my highest bond level is Herc. He's the only one. <laughs> kind of neglected everyone else. Alright, Jack the Ripper, take care. Uh... Did I know DMC has a shared universe with Persona? The main universe? I did not know that. <laughs> First episode, Dante and Virgil fight for the last pizza. That'll be cool. But lots of things, so much to look forward to uh, next year. Game-wise, we have Resident Evil 2, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Movie, Infinity War. Oh, no, they changed the name. I think it's Annihilation now. But uh, basically, Avengers 4, Captain Marvel, eh, seems alright. The Fate Heaven's Field Part 2, holy crap, that's going to be good. And then the first Camelot movie. And FGO Babylon anime. FGO has taken over your life. It's a great time, <laughs> yes. For a nerd, exactly. Fate taking over Japan, yes. Will 2019 be another year of Fate? Absolutely, it's it's going to be huge for Fate. You have two movies, two good movies. Well, IG Productions having uh, taking charge of uh, Camelot 1, so I have high hopes. Um, there's going to be great servants uh, and FGO anime, so it's going to be good. Imagine if a uh, mysterious hero in X made a cameo in the next Star Wars movie. <laughs> oh, don't let's not talk about Star Wars. I'm, I'm part of the the last Jedi. The last Jedi ruined the sh uh, the the series for me. I'm part of that group. If you love the movie, hey, that's great. I respect your opinion, but uh, I had so much hope for this uh, trilogy.
You say fate hi uh, be hyped for 10 more years before slowly die down. Yeah, there's in everything, there's going to be a die down period. But then it can always spike back up. Uh, for example, um, Fates was popular-ish. It wasn't really, I, I, I shouldn't even call mainstream, but um, it was popular a bit back then. But then it really died down until uh, Fate Zero. V Fate Zero really picked the franchise up. But then there's another die, you know, dying period or stagnant period. And then Unlimited Blade Works came out. Which raised popularity again. So I think this year fate was it's kind of stagnant to me. There's not really too much uh it wasn't really talked about besides the community. <laughs> but next year I think uh, for others it will be good. And there's still a lot of stories they could adapt. Basically Think about, or think of it this way, Fate's franchise, you know, is like DC, <laughs> or DC or Marvel. You know, there's always stories that can make the whole entire series interesting. Uh, okay, you're gonna die. Unlimited Blade Work is n no longer on Netflix? No! Oh yes, Mulan as his servants. They, they have to. Uh. Oh, let me just do this. <laughs> oh, stupid waiver. 2019, yeah. Like I said, 2019 will be a big year for Fate. Big year. I think 2019 and 2020 will be big. Uh, because Heaven's Feel. No, wait. Heaven's Feel 3 won't come out in 2020. But we'll see. Oh no, he died. What about people die if they are killed? <laughs> no, for, no, that... That quote will forever remain in our hearts. You wanted uh, Fate Strange Fake for Archer Herc, yes! No, but then... I want you foldable to complete Heaven's Feel first. And then take on Fate Strange Fake. But then Fate Strange Fake is still... It, it isn't complete. So we, we're gonna have like a lot of... Pff, five more years, maybe. But you foldable could take charge or... No, can uh, adapt Fate Prototype. Fragments of Silver and... Blue, which is basically uh, Proto Arthur. It's the Fate Zero. It's it's kind of like Fate Zero. So I hope they adapt it. Am I excited for next summer banner? Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to. I'm more so interested in uh, Summer Friend and Maid Alter, and of course uh, Nero Caster Nero. Who am I rolling for after Musashi? Well, if I'm not broke, <laughs> King Hassan. Uh, do I believe that Fate, uh, no, Type Moon ever make another remake of Fate's visual novel? They will add the Ilya route. I. Don't know. Could be, but I think they're more interested in creating completely different stories. Uh, Apocrypha is a gigantic mess. It isn't the greatest. <laughs> um, but the fight scenes are good. S some, not all. Some are good. Um... Really, I, I liked it. I really enjoyed it, actually. The main problem is that some characters should have had more screen time, like Mordred. But they concentrated on a lackluster type protagonist. You know, he kind of sucked. But overall, I say give it a try. Um, 
I don't know if you can, but try to watch after episode 6. That's when it gets a bit interesting. And the fight scenes, the fight scenes are better. If you don't like it, you know, episode 8-ish, then drop it. And just watch the fight scenes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Fear Park Fight does get a lot of shit. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not... I don't think it deserved the hate it does. I Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I never watched the or read the Prisma series. I'm not really interested in uh, the lollies. <laughs> yeah, half good, half bad. I'll, I'll I'll say that right. I've seen way worse anime, and so I definitely give, say give it a shot. The fight scenes will, at the very least, entertain you. I could, one fight in particular, I won't spoil it, I know you'll love because a lot of people loved it. Like the animation was solid, really solid. Prisma Ilya is really good right now. Is this still ongoing? I thought it ended in like season 4 or something, 5, 4 or something like that. Travis Braun uh, needs a lot more screen time, more than anyone. I think Mordred needed more. <laughs> she was actually one of my favorite characters. Um, who else? Mordred. Uh, Maka Sushiro. He needed more screen time. I felt that he could have been a better villain if he had more screen time. Especially his, uh, him and Semiramis needed a lot more screen time. <laughs> You're so tempted to burn Sig. Yes, burn him. He doesn't deserve the best waifu. Oh, yeah. It's already past 15 minutes. Well, I'm having a great time discussing these topics with you guys. What time is it? It's 8 18. I do gotta get going. Mordred should have been the protagonist. You know, I actually thought Mordred was the protagonist. Before I knew anything about the series. Because I saw her the majority of the time. Yeah, I would have been happy if, you know, her and her, her, ma her master were the main focus. Uh, Jean Ruler, Tamamo, and Okita. Kiss, marry, or kill? Uh, I'd marry, marry, and marry. <laughs> Coex682, thanks for the subscription. I think this would kill it. Yes, the chemistry with Mordred and her master was amazing. Needed more screen time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, the father and daughter, like, they com they complete each other because, oh well. Spoilers, you know, apologize in advance, we're kind of going to spoiler territory. But, um, mute the video. But, you know, her master, Morgia's master, wanted, uh, you know, basically a daughter. That's what his real goal is. Because, um, essentially what happened to it in his backstory. And Mordred, of course, her whole, uh, <laughs> awkward relationship with Artoria. Yes. The last scene between those two. Most impactful moment for me. Damn. No, it actually... <laughs> I, I I should tear it up a bit. <laughs> uh, Fate Zero, you missed the event. Uh, she'll come back next. No, 2020. 
Should be 2020. Yeah, I'm out of, uh... Oh, wait. I gotta do my, um... Free summon. Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare was hilarious. You tear it up too? It's okay. Let the emotions flow. Spend those quarts. Nah, Musashi awaits. Alright, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. And good luck on your summons for Shiro, Ishtar, and let's prepare for Babylonia. Good night, everyone. Till next time.